Happy holidays. It's your girl, Miss Natural Journey, and I am trying to figure out what to do with this head for the holidays. I'm gonna show you guys three super quick, super easy hairstyles you can rock on New Year's Eve or Christmas Day if it's not too late. All right, guys, here's a little tip. If you are attending a fancy occasion or you just wanna get kind of dolled up, hair swooped to the side is literally like a go-to. If it fits your outfit and you have no idea what else to do with your hair, this hairstyle is just super easy, super quick, and it's always super cute, especially when you have some crinkles or some curls. So what I'm doing here is just swooping my hair over to the side, and I'm actually using my back locks to keep my hair in place. So I just kind of crossed over a couple of locks and almost rolled it at the top. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect. Just get it over there and pin it down and rock it. All right, now on to look number two. This hairstyle here you can kind of just play with and get creative with. I love having hairstyles that have a few different features to it, not just one thing going on. So in this hairstyle, I'm gonna have a little bit of a pompadour. So I'm gonna grab a few locks in the front to create that look. Not too drastic, not too bold, just kind of subtle. And as I'm putting these locks in place, I'm gonna go ahead and pin them down. I'm gonna take a few locks from both sides of my head, pulling them upward and tying them very loosely. Be careful, ladies. You don't want to get too carried away with putting too much tension on your edges or on your locks as a whole. And I'm gonna to continue to do this two more times, tying each one over the other so that the ends won't stick out as they're doing there. <laughs> Once you're done tying the third one in place, you wanna make sure none of the locks are sticking out at the top. Now, I am a big fan for messy hairstyles. <laughs> if you are not a fan of messy hairstyles, you can definitely use some bobby pins to pin down more locks and make it look a little neater. Another alternate to this hairstyle is pulling it over to the side if you wanna look a little more feminine. And transitioning into the third look, I'm going to leave my pompadour in place because I'm gonna actually use it intertwined with my next hairstyle. And I'm gonna pull my locks to the top of my head. Now ladies, you wanna be very careful whenever putting your hair in a ponytail, and uh, you wanna be sure that you're not pulling your locks too tight. That is why I use this huge band <laughs> to secure my ponytail because I can make it as loose or as tight as I want to. So I try to make it a little looser than I usually would. This obviously helps to prevent breakage on your edges or anywhere else in your locks. And once your ponytail is secured and in place, you're going to separate it into two halves, taking each side and doing sort of like a fishtail braid. It's very, very similar to just doing a basket weave, but basically you take um, a couple of locks from each side and cross it over each other. So as you're crossing it over, it's holding down the lock set crossed over before them. <laughs> Sounds very technical, but it's very, very, very easy. And you just wanna make sure that if any are sticking out, that you eventually tuck them in so that you can secure the actual look of the fishtail braid. Thank you. 
Continue your fishtail braid all the way down to the ends of the hair and secured with a rubber band or ponytail holder. I used a ponytail holder in this demonstration. Usually I would have used a rubber band, but as you will see in just a few moments, you can choose to remove the ponytail holder if you do use it to secure it. And you'll see why in just a moment. Go ahead and do that same fishtail braid on the other side of your ponytail. Be sure to grab any stray locks that decide to misbehave. Tuck them in and pin your hair down. I like to pull my braids to the front and cross them across each other just to give the illusion of a little bit of a higher ponytail. You can choose to wrap them around the back or whatever works best for you, but for the look that I'm going for, I prefer to cross them over the front. Go ahead and secure those with bobby pins, being sure not to put too many or put them in too tight. Go ahead and shape your bun to your liking, tucking in any loose locks that may be hanging out. And don't forget to strut your stuff, girl. <laughs> and make any minor adjustments that you feel you need to make. I hope you enjoyed this super quick tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe.